Well, good morning, and welcome to James with Jesus on this Thursday, February 2nd, or 2223. The psalm for today is Psalm 112, um, verses 1 to 9. Alleluia! Happiness comes to those who revere Yahweh, who revel in God's commands. Their children hold power on earth. The descendants of the just will always be blessed. There will be riches and wealth for their families, and God's justice can never be changed. For the just, Yahweh shines like a lamp in the dark. God is merciful, compassionate, and righteous. Good people are generous and lend money without interest. They are honest in all their dealings. They are never shaken because they love justice and will leave an imperishable memory behind them. They never fear bad news because their unwavering hearts trust in Yahweh. With peaceful hearts they fear nothing, and in the end they will triumph over their enemies. Quick to be generous, they give to the poor, doing justice always and forever. Their horn will always be lifted in honor. Well, when I read this in a different version, it did not start off with the word Alleluia, so I was pleasantly surprised when I picked up um, this version, which does. Um, Last night, Renee and I watched, and my mom, watched a marvelous documentary. Unfortunately, it's only found on Netflix right now, about Leonard Cohen and his masterpiece, the song Alleluia, or Hallelujah. Um, it was an incredible story of just his life's work, but it was centered around the creation of this song, which took him over seven years to finally get the lyrics that he exactly wanted. And in fact, um, when it first came out on an album here in the United States, the, the folks who had worked on it thought it was a masterpiece, but when they turned it over to the studio exec, he chose not to even release the album here in the United States. So it was released internationally and kind of just um, was under the radar for a long time. And then it went through multiple artists. Uh, a writer for Rolling Stone said that he probably had heard him Leonard Cohen said that he probably wrote almost 150 verses to this song, so there's a variety that have been released and played, and one for you um, fans of Shrek it was a, a sanitized version that came out with Shrek, so that brought out Resurgent. But this, it was just a powerful, powerful story, and what moved Renee and I particularly was just the, the sense of authenticity he had in living his life with his struggles, with his trying to wrestle with the divine, and also just being a spiritual seeker. He spent six years in a Buddhist monastery practicing Zen Buddhism, which is a very rigorous discipline. Um, it's just, I, I'm sorry it's not yet available more widely, but maybe put it in your, put it in your uh, tickler file that uh, someday, if this ever gets a broader release, just an incredible story how this song has touched hundreds of millions of people globally. And uh, and then he is an artist himself, just um, that, that was quite fascinating. So I treat it as a little nudge that the, the NRSV does not begin uh, the Psalm 112 with the word Hallelujah, but uh, the inclusive Bible, uh, it does choose to translate that way. So let's pray. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for just the incredible world we live in and help each of us to slow down enough to be able to appreciate that. Um, be with those whose lives are um, at such a pace in demands of um, trying to earn a living or provide care to others or the many, many ways we can feel overwhelmed. Help us slow down, take a breath, gain confidence in your promise to be with us to recognize that even artists at the highest caliber can face rejection, but true beauty will come out eventually. Um, help us each day uh, to live a life that uh, gives you thanks, 
and um, seeks to follow your commands, to love you, and to love our neighbor. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a blessed day today, and Pastor Josh will be with you again in the morning. I will see you Saturday morning. God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.